Today I'm talking about another new Oathbreaker out of Adventures from the Forgotten Realms, and she's quite the Punisher. Hello Planeswalkers, and welcome back to the Signature Spellbomb. I'm your host, Chad, and today I'm going to be discussing a new Planeswalker out of Adventures from the Forgotten Realms. Azariel, Arch Archduke of Avermas, is a great Planeswalker. I'm going to be breaking down this card the way I always do. We're going to be looking at lore, playability of the card, and its cost. And we're going to decide if this card is worth it for your collection, or maybe something you might have a passing interest in. First off, let's start with lore. Azariel is from d and but not necessarily from the adventures of the Forgotten Realms. But we're going to bypass that just to really dig into this card. The art is amazing. Azariel was originally an angel in heavens in the Forgotten Realms setting that fell to hell. She fought for a position in hell, got knocked down from that position down to a lower layer, crawled her way back up, and is now the Archduke of the layer she's on and she controls. Now, as far as being a Planeswalker goes, I wouldn't call her a traditional planeswalker and in that the plane she's on is in a perpetual war between demons and devils. So the odds she can ever leave that plane is terrible because she is constantly leading troops into the battlefield and these are some grotesque battlefields. Some things we can notice about her heart is the reason her hair, which used to be beautiful, flowing, and golden, she was a heavenly angel, has all been burned off by her trials. Her halo is now a halo of fire, and her one hand that used to hold her holy avenger, her sword, has been cut off and replaced with a flail. All of these are great connection points to her actual story and lore, so I really enjoy what they've done with this card. So I would give it a pretty high ranking on lore. It, the card does what it, what it sets out to do, which is to personify this character, I think, in a pretty exciting way. Let's get into its playability now. It is a four loyalty planeswalker for two and two red mana. That's that's okay. But what really kind of makes her playable is the amount of options her three planeswalker abilities give us. The first one allows us to pump our entire team and give them haste. That can be really important if, if your strategy is just a lot of small creatures or tokens. And what's really cool about that is that's a plus one, and it is literally an expression of her being a commander and leading an army by pumping up all of her troops and sending them into combat. Her zero is going to create us a little dude that when it dies, it deals one damage to any target. This is kind of cool, and that actually feels like it pushes the deck more in an aristocrat style because having creatures that can be killed for value is what aristocrats deck are looking for, and these are free creatures. Usually when we see this text on other planeswalkers, it's a minus. So for a zero, it's pretty good. And her minus six is we get an emblem that's going to let us untap one of our creatures after our first combat step on, on the turn and take a second combat step. This is really cool because if you get your deck set up to be able to take advantage of and abuse multiple combat steps, which is another way you build this deck in in a direction, we'll do that. But it's also really good for creatures we want to tap for an effect. You need to untap a creature that has some huge effect, like producing mana or when it pilots a vehicle, certainly that vehicle gets X, Y, or Z extra ability. Name it, there's a lot of things that, that are going to benefit from that. There are some creatures that when they get a second attack, they will give you another attack step. And there's even some uh, creatures that when they're exhausted, you don't get to untap them next turn. So being able to untap them now and get the extra value now is great. Just a really interesting strategy point. I think a lot of people are going to find interesting ways to build with this Planeswalker. I think it can be very good. Um, the last piece I want to talk about is value. She costs $4.19 right now on TCG Player. I don't think that price is going to shift. Maybe it'll go up a little bit over time, but I think that's actually a pretty good price for this Planeswalker. Um, that's my opinions. Um, I certainly would love to hear what you guys want to build when you're thinking about Serial, what signature spells you want to use, and anything you say below in the comments can help somebody else who might be picking their brain and not quite able to figure out what to do just yet. I'm going to put a video up here on the end card. I certainly look forward to seeing you in the next video. And please remember, you're a Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.